Okay, just stopped over for a nice little spot. And uh, this is Lake Ishikul, uh, the second, I believe it's the second biggest salt lake in the world. We're next to the Caspian Sea. But, hi Shibum. Hi. He's going on to go drink the water. <laughs> no, uh, but it's a really, really nice view because, uh, of course, the sunset. Sunset will be in five minutes. Um, our trick, actually, it's eight minutes. Um, to use uh, each pinky, if you keep your hand straight like this, uh, each pinky will be five minutes. And if you go like this at a relaxed interval, it's about 15 minutes. So yeah, eight minutes. And uh, then these, of course, the mountains, uh, the Tian Shan mountains, that'll continue all the way up this way, and they turn into the Himalayas, way down past Tajikistan. So this is a really, really beautiful, nice spot. There's lots of um, horse manure, so probably lots of horses over here too. The ground is like, literally like, what I think of with horses, how it stomps around in the dust. It's really, really quite nice. Okay, we got some guy coming over to come say hi. Okay, let's go talk to him. The guy's just wondering if uh, uh, we can give his car a jump start. He's over there. And uh, so we'll go over and I told him five, 10 minutes. We'll just wait until the sunset. But uh, a view like this, a view like this reminds me why I travel. Cause it's just so extraordinarily beautiful. You'd imagine something like this, like, I don't know. A lot of people would imagine go to the beach in like Miami, but this is way better for me. Way, way better. Thoughts? It's really beautiful. So beautiful. Perfect. Sun again. Full down. A moment like this is one of my favorite moments uh, where the sun is just about to set. Of course, a really beautiful view. It's kind of hard to see it. Now the mountain is lighting it up. Over there, you can see the other side of the Tian Shan Mountains. Uh, the mix goes all the way around it. But oh, what a beautiful moment. Oh my gosh. Um, the sun will set in like one minute. But this is the moment that I always love to watch the most. My favorite moment of watching just the very last little part. Just the last little tiny part goes down. It makes you like hold your breath until it happens. And then when it happens, it's just like a, it's a relief that like everything is good in the world. Okay, they're heading off. They're leaving now, but uh, uh, I think one of the most important things about traveling is that uh, you kind of have to not only rely on people, um, like most most importantly, like, I mean, especially when you don't know a place, uh, that a lot of times you rely on help. So I think it's one of the most important things is to give back help whenever possible. So um, personally, whenever I'm traveling, so if you ever see a hitchhiker, um, most of the time you should stop and pick up hitchhikers because they're just normal people that need help. You see someone that's stuck and needs a gym, you know, no matter if it's going to take an hour or two hours to help them, I think it's, it's really important to help them because so many times you're a recipient of the help. I'd say nine, nine out of ten times I'm the recipient of help. So anything, anything that I can, I can do to give back to the people is, is probably one of the most important things about traveling. You have to be able you have to like be flexible with it, no problem. I mean, like it's, it's good to be a good person in the world. Um, so uh, to, to get his car jump started then, um, we don't have jumper cables in this car. Um, I always keep them in my car at home, but uh, this car didn't have any in it. So uh, uh, he lives in the next village, uh, Barscoon, which is like that way. Um, and so it's 20 kilometers. Uh, so just hopped in the car and, and drove like half an hour over to his house, uh, out to his little farmhouse to go get some jumper cables. And then came back out here and jumped. And uh, you know, of course, just like anywhere else, if you're in Minnesota or if you're in the United States, people will offer, you know, can I, can I at least give you some money? Can I give you something, you know? And uh, we always tell, always tell him, you know, no, no you don't, I don't need anything. I don't need anything, you know, I just, I just want to help. Uh, and so uh, before we were leaving, uh, he was, let me grab it real quick. Um, he was so keen to give us something that um, he was convincing me, you have to take it, you have to take it, you have to take it. Um, and I was telling him, no, no, I don't need it, I don't need it. Um, he was saying, no, please, let me give you something. 
Uh, and so he opened up the car door and he put this inside. Uh, a huge bottle of vodka, uh, which is, I think, uh, like the best... <laughs> somehow it's the most fitting thing to give, so... Uh, I guess I'll, I'll drink it happily now. Uh, but, uh, okay, so now everything is all taken care of. Uh, so we're gonna hop back up about one mile along the coast to get onto the, the main road. And we'll drive actually back over to that village, uh, 20, 30 kilometers, and go stay over there tonight. Um, but everything is good. For whatever help you receive, help must be given. So, the travel credo. Okay, so we just made it to our humble abode for the night. Um, and uh, we just bring the, bring the Land Cruiser all the way up. Uh, they said it was 3,000 some, uh, but we negotiated down to 25. Uh, 2500 which is um what is that 30 bucks 30 bucks 30 bucks or so but um pretty decent i mean it's got heating and everything the heating is down there um the double bed it's actually got a pretty nice bathroom really nice bathroom actually um power most important as long as there's power and heating everything should be all good so 30 bucks and uh, also they have dinner here um, everything here is closed because Isakula is over there and you can't see it right now. You'll see it in the morning. Up there is the mountains and this is the, uh, uh, it's called the Fairytale Canyon. But uh, none of the restaurants, nothing is open right now, obviously because tourism is all affected by, um, by COVID. Um, but also, uh, we were asking the lady, she was telling us uh, in Russian, doesn't speak any English up here, that, uh, oh, my breath, uh, they're saying that it's pretty much just uh, like local tourists. Um, not really any foreign tourists that come all the way out here, so. Anyway, so th she's making dinner right now. Um, we don't really get a choice in what you want to eat, so anything is all good. I didn't really understand what she was saying, but uh, they didn't have my favorite food, which is Lagman. No Lagman. Um, you can find pizza out here, surprisingly, but uh, none of that. So I think she's making something that has dumplings. You can't complain, just be happy. And it's um, dinner that was 400. Dinner is 400 some, which is... Um, $5 for Five people. bucks. Five bucks for two people. So it's all okay. It's all okay. Okay, we're gonna alone now, and uh, I guess I'll show this clip again in the morning so you can see the beauty. You can see all the stars. It's quite nice here. So you know, what's really comical to me is that when we came in, I brought the hummus inside because I don't want to leave it out in the cold. And uh, the the people here, they saw it, and uh, I was asking them, uh, "Do you know how to play it?" "Oh no, I don't know how to play. I don't know how to play." And then she starts playing it. Of course, she knows how to play it. Can you play it one more time? Very good, very good. <laughs> I don't know how to play. <laughs> okay, so we're just getting settled in. We're making up some tea. Tea is very important here. And um, actually, I would very strongly say the Kurtzik people do never, they never drink water. It's always just tea. Every single meal you have like at least five glasses of tea. They give you a big one called Bolshoi, Bolshoi Chai. Big, big tea. Anyway, so um, when she came back, she brought us some shot glasses, um, which were very necessary because we were leaving alcohol outside. Uh, since it's so cold out, you know, it's like a free refrigerator. But um, they probably think that we have a big problem because out here we have a bottle of, bottle of wine and three big bottles of vodka. But the reason we have so much vodka is that, especially this one, we have two bottles of this one, which I think is just comical, an antivirus uh, vodka. So um, two bottles of that one. And then when we helped the guy earlier, he gave us this bottle. Um, but this one actually looks pretty good. Maybe, maybe I'll we'll drink this one first. Um, yeah, and then some red wine. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna bring this one inside. I want it. Just it over here. It's actually, it's just dumplings. That's what they brought. Actually, looks really good. It's got like sour cream in there too. If you want my number, send me a message. Okay, okay. I'll send you a message. Yeah, the o'clock in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
then also. And then salad. Yep. What I really like here, for every salad, they put salt on it. Which doesn't seem like it would taste really good, but it tastes really good actually. Um, so I'm happy to get some dumplings. I really like these dumplings. Who likes the dumplings? You? Everybody says, Bon Appetit here. No, who likes the dumplings? Everybody says, but Bon Appetit is French. So, okay, I'm gonna go eat. Good morning, and welcome from Tanzor, Kazakhstan. What a beautiful view in the morning. And also, the temperature is literally just like as perfect as possible. It's like a nice chill, like 68 up here on the mountain. And oh, oh, look at that. I didn't even see that yet. This is the uh, the, the southern side of Ishakul. Um, going that way is Ketakul. And then this, of course, the Tian Shan Mountains. Oh. Oh. Way too much beauty. Way too much beauty. It's gorgeous. This is why I travel, right here. You can wake up in the morning and you see this. Oh, this is gonna be a good day.